Bro, I picked up this box, this little box here. It's gonna pay me $80 to go 32 miles. I don't even care what's in the box, but it's gonna pay me 80 bucks to go 32 miles. I'll take it all day, all day. But you, man, I've been doing uh, independent contractor work. You know, I got an app that I use. I mean, there's a few apps that I use, but uh, I'm doing this independent contractor work. Um, I also ran into this guy that does airport runs. So, you know, he said he's gonna call. I haven't got a job from him yet, but he said he's gonna call me, you know, once he got an airport job for me. Our airport run for me and um you know that pays decent and and it plays tip on top of that and then this contractor work you know it's been keeping me busy not only that the dump trailer that we got up north that's that's doing us great um it's keeping us busy uh next week if it ain't for the hurricane i will be going up to south carolina to do a big job that we have we got a, a lot of concrete to move or we'll move concrete for three to four days um, depending on the situation. But yeah, the hurricane's coming. So. First at 11, we are now tracking newly named Tropical Storm Ian, and it is likely to become a major hurricane by next week. South Florida remains in the cone of uncertainty tonight for that Tropical Storm Ian. The path and intensity, of course, can change. It will change over the next few days, but the message tonight is be prepared. Just hours ago, Governor DeSantis declared a state of emergency covering the problem the hurricane is, I don't want to leave Florida and there's a hurricane coming to hit. You know, I don't want to go to South Carolina. I have to turn around, come right back just to prepare my house for a hurricane. So hopefully by the end of this weekend, I'll know what's going on with the hurricane. If, you know, I got to prepare for it. And that if, if I do, I will not be going up north. Um... But yeah, so this independent contractor work has been doing great for me. Um, it's keeping me busy. I'm still thinking about renting out my semi. Right now it's for sale. I've been getting a lot of hits on it, but everybody sees the bullshit. And a lot of the reason why I see is because their first question is, is it an automatic or a manual? So there's a lot of guys that can't even drive manual trucks, the semi trucks now. It's crazy to me. It blows my mind because we couldn't take uh, the CDL test. When I got my CDL, we couldn't take it with an automatic truck. It had to have been a manual truck to take the CDL test. Now, these guys all got restrictions on their license, can only drive an automatic. So these people looking to buy the truck, a lot of them only have an automatic license. It's crazy. It blows my mind. But yeah, so I want to get the truck rented. I'm not sure or how good it would be for me to spend the money to get my truck in tip-top shape because it does have an oil leak and I want to get that oil leak fi fixed before I rent it out. And I don't know if I should go spend the money doing that, get it insured again because I need Bobtail insurance. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm definitely looking into it. Um, I'm thinking about putting it up there for rent because if I can get passive income off my semi, why not go that route since it's already paid for? And my truck is paid for itself, you know, three, four times over already. If I just put it online to rent and it's bringing me income, why not go that route? All right, I'm about to, I'm about to pull up here now. FPNL, let's buy those to FPNL. I just delivered that package here at the FPNL, and I'm about to turn on this Uber and see if anybody needs some rides. Uber's about to pay for my date night tonight. Y'all know the vibes. Let's see. Um, let me see how many people I can get and how much money I can make real quick since I'm in a big city. I think I'll turn on the Uber app real quick and see what I can get. But I'll let you guys know here in a minute. Slow down, he said. My bad, bro. What the fuck? He jumped out just to say slow down. I wasn't even going fucking 20. I was going like 15. Anyway, 
Let's see. I just got done doing Uber and I was online on Uber for about, I want to say an hour and 15 minutes and I made about $34 um, and that's without tip. So, you know, throughout the day, usually they'll start, you know, people start tipping after the ride. Some people won't tip at all, but I'm thinking, I guess I'll probably make five to $10 in tip. So it wasn't too bad for an hour, you know, anywhere from 30 to $40 an hour. It wasn't too bad at all. But anyway, I'm heading back now. I'm heading back to my city now. So I'm about an hour away and I had to stop because I have to go get my daughter. And then, but it's all right because I made, I made good money today. Um, the dump trailer is actually going to, you know, bring me in about $800 uh, today. I mean, the job probably, the job was like pretty much lasted for like three days, but still, you know, so today I'll get that $800. I did that one load for 80 bucks and then I made $35 on Uber. So I'm looking at, what is that? 80 plus 20 is 100 plus another 10 is 110, 115, plus the 800. So you're looking at, I'm looking at $915 for the day. Um, that ain't bad. That, that's a good way to end my week. I really needed that money. And um, I'm happy about it. Date night, tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna do some massages, what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out to eat, and then after that, we'll figure out what we're doing for date night. Anyway, I'm out here securing a bag without my semi. I got a pickup truck and I'm making this bread with it. And the best thing about my truck, you know, for the for the from the route till now, I made up I was getting fuel mileage, I was getting 17 miles to the gallon, and that was in city. You know, so my truck is great on fuel. You know, I could get 17 miles to the gallon up to 23 highway. So it does great, great on fuel, and that, that definitely helps out a lot when it comes to using my truck for doing all these deliveries and work and Ubering and everything else that I've been doing. Life of Bentley on YouTube? Yeah, Bentley. Here we go. Life of Bentley on YouTube. Yeah, go, Bentley. 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 You didn't hear him say go Bentley? Yeah. Go Bentley too. Go Bentley too. Go Bentley too. I am a pair. Go Bentley, go. Go Bentley, go. Go Bentley, go. Go Bentley, go. Bentley, go. Bye Bentley. Bye, Bentley. <laughs> so I got back to my city and then I went to go pick my daughter up and we went That's to the awesome. bakery after that and we seen this Bye, bird Bentley. here. Anyway, go look him up on YouTube, The Life of Bentley. Then me and the old lady went out for dinner for date night.